hey you guys welcome back to another video it's kiana or kiki if you are not new to my channel i am um it's so crazy i'm back on camera like <laughs> i haven't been on camera in months like i'm probably going on probably approaching a year maybe i don't know but i have um a lot of new things to update you guys on so just to start off um, the first update of the year for you guys that are new and even if you guys are returning subscribers I just want to let you know that I'm pregnant with baby number two yay <laughs> pregnant with baby number two and I've been pregnant for some time now <laughs> I've been like pro I have been putting off this video for a while um just to let you guys know i'm 26 weeks today actually today is january 21st and i'm 26 weeks today <laughs> and i'm so, oh so excited for our our baby our number two and i wrote down some things so i can keep my mind um focused sorry if i'm like squinting because i ain't got my glasses on because the reflection of the ring light <laughs> on my glasses is like throwing it all off. I found out, well I'm gonna get into that in a minute <laughs> when we found out I was pregnant, but yeah. So I'm six months, second trimester. Sorry it took me so long to actually put out this video. I have been cr procrastinating, not that I didn't want to tell you guys, but I've been wanting to tell you since I um, got into my um, second trimester, which I believe is 13 weeks. So I, I had this video in mind since then. I already discussed how far along I am. I'm 26 weeks today. Every Sunday I turn another week. So I didn't write on here what my due date is. What my due date right now is um, April 28th. But um, with Crew, Crew came about like almost two weeks early. We had to get induced with him. So, um, or I had to get induced with him. So just depending on what plan I have for delivery, either another C-section or vaginal, I definitely want it to be planned this time. So it probably won't be on that day just so I don't go into labor um, on my own. But that's something I'm definitely going to have to talk with my doctor very, very soon we fast approaching. Oh my God, it's going by so fast. I swear, I'm just like, Jesus, this is going by so fast. Um, so I'm going to go over my symptoms from what I can try to remember from the first time that I found out that I was pregnant. I found out I was pregnant pretty early on, y'all. Um, I found out on August 14th and we already were planning, um, for baby number two. So this wasn't a surprise or anything like that. I kind of already was expecting, tracking my period, tracking, you know, um, when I ovulating. So I know um, when's the best time to be intimate so we can actually, you know, have a better result of getting pregnant. So yeah, I kind of already knew. <laughs> but I found out at four weeks, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So like my symptoms from four to eight weeks, I was extremely nauseous, which is totally different than when it was from crew. With crew, I wasn't even nauseous at all. I didn't throw up. Like I was fine. Like it was just easy breezy, lemon squeezy. With Nugget, I had just been, I was extremely nauseous from like weeks four to eight. Like nauseous every smell. My husband would come home. I'm like, please take a shower. I'm like, what are you cooking? <laughs> like. I couldn't eat anything you guys like I think I was eating like saltines <sighs> saltines and he he makes this um, rice porridge which is like just rice and chicken um, and some other things in a very you know not too much so I could imagine I could man I could manage to get that down with some um, what is it called uh, sorry baby brain I'm so sorry <laughs> with some ginger ale so I can get that down so if that was pretty much um, the symptoms from four to eight weeks so I just remember being really really nauseous really really tired it was just 
it was bad. It was so bad. I was just like, oh my god, this is gonna be my last baby. I don't want to be this nauseous ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> like, but I didn't throw up though. Surprisingly, just very, very nauseous. Um, so weeks, weeks nine to sixteen. Um, we're better. The nausea actually subsided and eased up a lot. So that was great. So I actually started getting my appetite back. Awesome. Um, I started slowly getting some energy um, to do a little bit more things. Take um, crew to the park. Maybe clean, <laughs> clean up. Get myself together. Because it was just, I'm telling you, though, that first like couple weeks bad girl I was like oof <laughs> not even too sure when my boobs started to like hurt though but they started to like hurt a little bit in the last like couple weeks but like my boobs have been a little bit sensitive I feel like they're getting ready to make some milk so yeah they don't really feel heavy yet um that probably happened like in the last month if I can remember with crew but they definitely got bigger but they have been like sensitive definitely at times um i'm actually tired more tired right now like like i said it took me forever to film this video because i just want to sleep i just want to lay down and that's what i've been doing because like i said from the shift in my lifestyle that i've had lately um <laughs> i've actually been able to rest more so thank god for that i'm so happy um i've been gassy and i pee a lot obviously that's a given especially at night time um i pee quite often especially if you drink water you know what i mean like with me i'm struggling to drink water and i know i bought some um water enhancers to put in my water to help me drink more and i should probably add some fruit too but yeah i just been wanting juice and juice and juice so that brings me to my cravings but if there's any more like symptoms that i can think about in this video i'll probably mention it just randomly or in the next video or whatever but just at the top of my head but anyways to my cravings and i have been craving some it's not like weird things i don't think in my brain but i think they're pretty healthy for the most part so at least that's good the first thing cereal okay like i love honeycombs right now oh my gosh honeycombs honeycombs me and nugget be eating honeycombs <laughs> morning noon night uh four o'clock in the morning like we eat honeycombs like i love cereal right now uh i've also been eating um i haven't ate it in a in a couple weeks though because i've moved on to a different craving um but i would take some apples the nice like pink lady or gala or um just like that light pink apples like very very sweet and crunchy i would peel them cut them up like into like squares and put honey and tahini on them when i tell you guys don't knock it till you try it like my husband and my mom were like mm, that doesn't sound good but to me i'm like that sounds good even if i wasn't pregnant i don't know maybe that's just me being pregnant that just sounds bomb but i'm telling you, you guys gotta try it though gotta try it though bomb i might have some i don't know if i have some apples in there i don't i do have some apples i bought some apples for crew i might have to like take a half of one and probably eat it remember when i said i was gonna go back to the symptoms <laughs> before i forget back pain you guys my back has been killing me how did i not write this down like that's been like the number one thing my back has been killing me i have been getting leg cramps um just if I stand too long or if I'm walking somewhere too long and I don't know if it's just because the baby like I was putting all this weight on my hips like if you work out and your legs get sore that's what it feels like and it's probably a sign from what I was googling sign of dehydration so I definitely need to get um, hydrated and drink more water I have a little bit of headaches here and there leg cramps my feet are a little bit swollen my face knock on some wood here I hope this bed is made out of wood underneath all this upholstery because we're gonna knock on it but my face has not been doing what it did when i was pregnant with my first baby which was i had um what they call a pregnancy mask i got really really dark um my face started to like get like these 
patches that were just peeling and I'm only six months but I felt like when I was pregnant with crew it started to do this already at this time so I'm praying that it does not do it this time because that was like a major insecurity for me I was like oh I felt so I mean I know you're carrying life but I it was just mm -mm. did have I do have a lot of pregnancy brain y'all a lot of pregnancy brain like I ran the washer machine twice with no clothes in them because what I do is <laughs> What I do is I fill up the washer with the soap first, then I put the clothes in because I feel like the clothes get more, like they smell better that way. <sighs> My mom was over here, I was hungry, and I ran the washing machine two separate cycles with no clothes in them. The soap, just soap and water, just just going. And I'm just like, really? Like, I need to go eat. <laughs> like, eat. <laughs> like, something's wrong with me. <laughs> My new craving right now, y'all, which y'all gotta try, I'm just telling you, because I got my mom hooked on them right now, too, as well. I'm gonna put a picture right here. They're kiwis. They're by Sunny Gold Kiwis. They're extra sweet. They're yellow inside. You know, usually the kiwis are green inside. No, these are yellow, and they're bigger. So I just, all I do is cut them open, and I just take a spoon, and I just be scooping it out, and I eat it. Sometimes I'll put some tahini on them, um, if I want to, a little bit. But that's my ish right now, okay? That is my ish. That's my current craving. For a while, it was apples with the tahini honey. But once I got a taste of that kiwi, woo! After actually, after this video, I'm about to go get me, I'm about to go get me one too. Of bacon, and I don't even eat right, like real bacon, but lately I've been wanting real bacon. So I've been eating real, like, um, I usually just eat turkey bacon or and I do eat turkey bacon still but I've been loving real bacon like pork bacon it's so weird and I don't want that to stay a habit because not supposed to eat that like I feel like that is just not that healthy but I eat it every now and again I don't eat it every day but like bacon with some cheesy eggs um, that's bomb so anything that's like that and I just like been keeping for the most part, a lot of sweets, like it's not sweet, it's not candy, but like light, like fruits and stuff. That's been my go-to. That and cereal, for sure. So it's not that, I don't think it's, my cravings are bad for me, so, or a nugget, but yeah, for the most part, it's pretty good. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna move on to how I found out um so like i said we already pretty much planned nugget for baby number two we already planned baby number two so i kind of already expected to take a pregnancy test i could not wait to my um, miss period date <laughs> like i took a pregnancy test before my miss period i already felt like i was pregnant anyway um so i found out august 14th and I took the pregnancy test, I think a two days before that, and it was very, very light. And I was just like, I can't really even tell. If, I mean, I could see there was a line. So I kept it to myself and I didn't tell David because I was just like, you just never know. You know what I mean? So I just, I'll, I just waited like a, a day or two.
going to show you my ultrasound and then I'm going to show you my belly bump at 26 weeks and I don't have my ultrasound here but I have it on my phone and I really don't feel like going in there and getting it but I will definitely show you from my phone hopefully it definitely shows that but I just want to let you know before I show you my belly bump um, I want to do a Q&A and I want to know what you guys are curious about if you have any questions um, about my pregnancy being um, pregnant with sec with the second baby um, whatever it may be like if you want to know what prenatals I'm taking if you want to know the gender of this um, gender of nugget if you haven't already picked up on it maybe I slipped here and there I don't know <laughs> um, maybe some names if you want to know what names maybe we picked out or maybe drop some name suggestions down below I'm really really curious I like I like questions and I want questions for the Q&A if not I'll come up with my own but it would be good to answer some questions from you guys I'm gonna show you ultrasound first I actually have a um, prenatal appointment tomorrow <laughs> for my 26 weeks so I'll probably I don't think it's really weird because this hospital I'm at is not the same hospital or anything how I deliver where I deliver crew so they do things a little bit differently I have my ultrasounds at a separate location that I do have my doctors of visits but when I was pregnant with crew I had my ultrasounds at the same place that I had my prenatal visits so it's really weird um I don't think I'll get an ultrasound tomorrow. The only thing that she really does is like a fetal Doppler to check on the heartbeat. Sometimes if that's hard to hear, then she'll bring out the ultrasound machine. But yeah. So, but here is um, an ultrasound. Um, ultrasound pictures from my last ultrasound, which is at 22 weeks. So this is Nugget. Sorry for the glare, but this is Nugget. Head and nose and chest and leg. That's Nugget. And then yawning right here. So Nugget was yawning, little tongue, mouth, lots of clothes. But she tried to catch Nugget yawning and she was like, your baby's yawning. I was like, oh my gosh, so cute. <laughs> so here's my baby bum from the side. 26 weeks belly bump belly bump 26 weeks big old baby big old baby on the front y'all can see my linea negra is dark darkening for sure <laughs> That's the end of this video. I'm pretty sure I didn't touch on everything, but I wanted didn't want to make this video too long. I definitely want to make more videos and keep you guys in the loop of my pregnancy and everything that's going on. So that's so everything thus far. <laughs> I definitely want to keep you guys in the loop of everything thus far. So I have been trying to film some snippets and clips of basically like my appointments but I just I don't think that I could film so it's a little bit hard so yeah um, but I definitely want you guys to follow me on my journey and I hope that you guys stay tuned if you're not already please go ahead and subscribe like this video and I hope I see you in my next videos and in the comment section. Thank you guys again so much for staying with me, for all the subscribers that have stayed with me, and the, for all the new subscribers that are here. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!